guys, it's Jessica from Crafting and Stampin' Up Blogspot.com, and today I wanted to show you how to make a super quickie, adorable little card um, with just a few little supplies that you'll need, um, and it's going to look absolutely adorable when you're done with it, and it's going to take us literally five minutes to make. So, all you're going to do is you are going to start out with, um, you can go through, and you, you need to picture my life card. So if you have any of the sets, it doesn't matter which one it is, take out a card that you like so that way you can get a sentiment on it. Now, for instance, my card is from the Four Always set, okay? That's on the back, keeping it real, and then there's this on the front. And I kind of like this little design. So um, all I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp a little sentiment. Now, I'm going to be using the stamp set Have a Happy Day. Whoops, right there. And this is what the set looks like. And it's got a bunch of cute little sentiments. Just be you, thinking of you, just because, hello, smile, have a happy day. Um, I am using the thinking of you stamp, and I already have it on my block. And I'm going to grab my foam and put it underneath. And I'm just going to use some of our black exclusive ink. And I'm going to, I haven't used a stamp yet, so I'm just going to rub it on my skin a little bit and get that excess acrylic that could be off that might make our stamp look a little funny when we stamp it. And I'm going to get it all linked up, and then I'm going to just stamp right up in the corner, thinking of you. And just be sure you use our foam for underneath because that way it'll give you a nice clean stamp. Look how nice that looks. Okay, so now we can put this right off to the side. So, we have our Picture My Life card. You're going to cut a piece of five and a quarter by four of any color cardstock that coordinates with your Picture My Life card. So if you're using Wonderful, uh, you might want to go black. If you're using, um, trying to think, The Laughing Lola, you might want to go with Gypsy. Um, just different colors will match up. You just need a five and a quarter by four inch piece and one of our card bases. So, um, after that, you're going to take um, any kind of washi tape. I'm using the Lagoon Hearts, just because whenever I use slate or if I use um, thistle um, or even the Gypsy, I like the way the Lagoon Hearts look with it, so I always use my Lagoon Hearts. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to just do a quickie little pull of... The Lagoon Heart Washi Tape. Oh, it's hard to do it with the camera in front of me. Normally this is a no problem. There we go. No, clearly not. There we go. Ah, it's all bumpy. That's sorry. It's because I, like I said, I can't see if it's going on straight. There we go. I think it's going to have to do. <laughs> it's not straight at all, but it's going to work for now. I'm probably going to be the only one to notice. <clears throat> so, um, you could rip your washi tape. Me, I don't rip straight at all, so I'm just going to snip right along the edge, and I'll put my washi tape right to the side. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's really not straight. That might bother me a little bit. No, we're going to leave it. No OCD today. It's fine. <laughs> So now what we're going to do is we're going to adhere our um, matte piece right to the base. Couldn't reach. And just get it on. Okay. And then we're going to put our picture my card, picture my life card right on top of that. Let's not put it on upside down. Okay, and now we're going to take just some little bling. I'm going to use our sequins, the silver sequins that I'm obsessed with. And I'm going to just add some right to the card. You could just stick them anywhere you want. No rhyme or reason as to how I'm going to do this. Just plopping them around. And that is the card. Quick and easy 
took me all of what four minutes and 55 seconds um, maybe add an extra 30 seconds of cut time for my card mat other than that it's all done so I just wanted to show you those picture my life cards that you have lingering around where you're not sure what you're gonna do with it and you don't want to journal on them and it's not right for the spot that you have save it and make a card out of it and you can go on a, in front of the TV you could pop out a bunch of these and then that way for the unexpected um, birthday or you know if there's you just want to send someone a smiley card um, you can have them ready and they're in your stash and they're ready to go and you don't need to worry about getting into your craft room to hurry up and make a card Hard, and then you're stressed so that's it it's quick and easy um, I will list all of the items I use down below um, for you if you would like to make a bunch of these cards so thanks so much for watching uh, be sure to like my Facebook fan page that will also be down below and I hope to catch craft and stampin bye